Hello everyone, it's me Juan Escamilla. I hope you guys are having a great week because I've been having a couple of great weeks lately and I want to show you guys a little bit of what I do at school. You know, I've shown you my military, I've shown you videos of what I've done, pictures and stuff like that, and then I've told you what I've done in life. But what am I doing right now? You know, what is Juan Escamilla really doing right now? Okay, and I want to show you what I've been doing at school at ITT. As you guys know, I'm going for software development, but what exactly do you do with software development? If you don't know, you know, yes, it's making programs, making whatever you want, you know, with computers, basically. But there's some out there that already know this stuff. So it might be a little refresher because you might be doing different things, but the possibilities are limitless with software development. I just want to show you guys a little bit of what I've been doing lately. What's been taking up my time these last few weeks. All right, so one of the projects in class that we're building in ITT is the intro to programming class. And we're building a game. It's called the robot game. Basically, right now, he's given us the basics of it, and we're supposed to modify it and then make our own game, and that's the project. So this right now, what you're seeing is Visual Basic Studio. This is what we use. I'm using the 2013 version. I got it for free through my school email. So I'm sure, I don't know how much it really costs. You know, I don't pay for it. So I get it for free. When you start going to school, they'll give you things like this, especially at ITTs and... You know, any others, normally any school will give you to you for free, but like the Art Institute will give you, you know, like Photoshop editing software, video editing software. I know Schwarzenwalder said he's going to the Institute and he wants to go into video editing. So he gets like video editing software for free through the school once he goes there. You know, it's pretty cool. So basically, this is all code. This is what we call Visual Basic. You know, there's C++ or C and there's JavaScript. Some of you guys understand what I'm talking about. And for you guys that don't understand, basically this is how you tell the computer what to do. You run the programs. On the top, you can see the little tabs right here. This is the game and everything that's going to go along it. Right here, we're actually building the game right now. And we're putting in all the values. Now, each right here module, this is the main thing. This is like, we call it the sandbox. Okay, so we write everything here. And this is what, this is what we tell the game what to do. All right, so... This is everything. Now we have different classes here. This is, uh, like I was saying, this is a module. It's called the module. And then next below a module is a class, you know, and then the class is whatever you define it. So here, let me just go over it. I explain it easier. I can get in here forever and talk to you guys about it. And I'll confuse a lot of you guys. But this is the weapon class. Basically, we're building a weapon to for the player. Now everything in blue, it's you'll see public class that's in blue weapon is in light blue because that's what I'm calling it the weapon anything in green here is not ran by the computer these are comments that you leave for yourself or for any other programmer in case they want to change code your code so you know it says declare the concepts no concepts dimension attributes and you name the attributes okay so as a weapon we want the weapon type the weapon size the ammo level the ammo capacity and the sound and this is the most important part is what are you gonna pass the weapon type as okay it's a string which means you're going to write words. Integer, as you can tell, is any number. And then same for ammo level and capacity because this is going to tell you how much ammo you have and how much ammo you can carry. You know, six out of six. What's in the weapon? How much can you carry total in that magazine? Yeah, we made it six out of six, nothing crazy. But once you create your dimensions, then you have to create constructors for each subroutine. And then once you do it, you create subroutines for each sub attribute. So when you see sub, that's a subroutine. That's what you're creating. So you identify, okay, ammo capacity, ammo level. Okay, well, what is ammo capacity? What is type? Well, you have to set the type. What do you want the computer to return? Type. Okay, new type. And here we go. You start ammo plus. This is a this is a function. Actually, no, my bad, not a function, but this is a sort of kind of an equation that we're going for. Sorry, the functions are down here. Once you get the public subroutines, now you have to create the functions for each one. Okay, like I said right here. Get W type. Okay, what do you want to return? The type. Well, we already identified what type was over here. You know, return the size, return the ammo level. That's what we want the computer to return to us. So basically, whatever you define here, you have to uh, make a function for it. This is the message box. This is just uh, like a little box that we're creating. Like, you know, the little text boxes that you see in video games. Same thing. And then we're just making how you'll see. I'll, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. But this is just basically what I've been doing. This takes up a lot of my time, especially at school and then on my free time as well. So nothing too bad. It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. I'm, I'm enjoying it. You know, I'm learning. 
But here's the fun part, all right? So let's, up here is how you debug it and you actually run the program. So let's go ahead and run it. Everything that I have, comp have constructed is right there. So right here we have the title of the game, robot game. This is the message box that I was talking about. This is the equations that you just saw and it's equally spaced to everything. All that. This right here, the dots, is supposed to be the grid. That's simulating the position of the player. R is where the robot's at. So let's say you know, let's, uh, you're know, you in a closed arena and this is the movement right here. This is the grid space that you're in. So later on we're going to add an enemy and since we don't, we haven't implemented it yet to our full to use the beat. Like I said, this is just the coding. Okay, I don't want to get too far ahead. That's why I'm stumbling a little bit on my words because this is just the coding of it. This is just the like the bare bones of the video game. We haven't had the the graphics and the visuals and everything, but this is what it would look like, you know, and then I can go in there and change it, change its position. Later on, we're going to learn how to, you know, A, when he presses the right arrow key, he's going to move. Stuff like that. And there we go. I uh, forget we added that. Robot space game. Now, here's how I'm going to show you guys. So one is your weapon. I have it uh, on the weapon class. I have it selected where one is the weapon. So you sec select one. You press a space bar and you start shooting. That's going to do, it's going to make a pop sound. We haven't added sound yet, like I said. You're out of ammo. So all you got to do is press one again because you're reloaded and you're back in business. Say so you want to switch weapons. Right now we only have one extra weapon and it's a bazooka. So you press two and you press a space. It says kaboom. You're out of ammo when you press the space button. So you press one again and you're good. And you keep pressing space. Hey, you're out of ammo. Reload. That's basically it, guys. You know, just it's pretty fun. I'm enjoying it. You know, not a lot of, uh, let's see, player. Was it in player? I was trying to show you guys where the weapon was at. I had a, had it all identified. Man, here you go. See, this is all an ASCII. So that's how you identify, okay, this is when he's going to get the weapon ammo level. So this is for the pistol and this is for the bazooka. And then you can go back to the pistol. See? Not too hard. It's pretty easy. As long as you, as long as you know what you're doing, you can do it. I just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing in school so far, the progress that I'm doing in ITT. It's very simple right now. It's nothing too crazy, nothing great. You know, eventually I'll get there. I'm only working for my associates right now. But I'm having a ton of fun. I do this at school and I do this on my free time, you know, at night. And it's fun. It's just to make a computer do something for you, to manipulate it, to create a program, to, you know, it's just the possibilities, the money to make out there. Everything is just limitless with software development. You know, the computer, it, computers, phones, electronics are the future. They're constantly growing and being updated. And this is the job, you know, that's really fun. Just ask the people who are into, you know, web designing, computer programming, any sort of programming. They're going to tell you it's a fun job. They have fun doing it and just you can do whatever. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring for you guys. I know it, a lot of it can seem a little bit whack, you know, and you might not know what I'm talking about. At least I showed you what it did. And later on, I hope to be able to show you guys, you know, like a, a full version of the, of the little game, but not like... It's nothing great. It's not going to be Skyrim. <laughs> it's going to, you know, it's going to be a little dumb game. Like one guy created the, uh, the old paddle game, you know, where you, you scroll and the ball bounces. It's pretty cool. Classic game, you know. Hey, maybe I'll develop Flappy Bird 2 and make millions of dollars and then just quit. But anyways, guys, I hope you had fun and I'll see you guys on Friday. Hello, sexy cats of YouTube. Who is the sexy Jesus? Is it this cat right here? Well. Time to break it down and dance. And dance and dance and dance. And dance and dance and dance. And dance and dance and dance and dance. And dance, and dance, and dance.